The one thing we love about cruising is that for one set fare, you can see multiple destinations across the globe while enjoying most of the ship's onboard amenities. Although what's included in each cruise line's standard price can fluctuate. If you're planning a trip on Princess Cruises, this video is for you as we detail everything that's included on a Princess Cruise plus what will cost you extra up next. Welcome aboard Cruisers, I'm DB from Eat Sleep Cruise where we help you see the world one port at a time. And whether you're new to cruising or new to Princess Cruises, we've put together this complete guide that will detail everything that's covered in your cruise fare, plus all those onboard extras that will be an upcharge. If you have any questions at all about Princess Cruises or cruising, please leave them in the comment section and we'll be sure to answer them. Like all cruise lines, your cruise fare on Princess does cover the cost of your stateroom for the duration of the trip, including daily service by a stateroom attendant. Princess Cruises has several different classes of ships, and each ship offers a variety of stateroom categories. Your options will range from an interior cabin to an ocean view or balcony cabin, all the way up to a variety of suite options. When creating your budget for your cruise, the type of cabin you choose will be the biggest factor determining the overall cost of your cruise. So be sure to review all the options available on your particular ship to find out the one that suits your travel party's needs and keeps you within budget. On every Princess Cruises ship, guests can enjoy three meals a day included in the standard cruise fare. Like most cruise lines, Princess Cruises main dining room offers a multi-course rotational menu that changes nightly. With Dine My Way, guests have the flexibility to choose when and where they eat each evening of the cruise. If you're a more traditional cruiser, you can select to have the same dining time in the same dining room each evening. If you prefer to mix things up, you can do that too by selecting different dining times based on your plans for that given day. Dine My Way also allows you to select if you prefer a private table or if you'd like to dine with others. The main dining room is also open for breakfast daily and for lunch on select days, typically sea days, and occasionally the main dining room is open for lunch when your call into a destination isn't until later in the afternoon. A throwback to the classic days of cruising on steamships, there's even complimentary afternoon tea. In addition, Princess Cruises offer several more casual dining spots that are also included in your cruise fare. Some of these options include the International Cafe, which is a 24-hour venue offering light bites for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, as well as espresso-based drinks. There's also some of the best pizza at sea at Alfredo's and Gigi's Pizzeria, and grill favorites by the pool, as well as the World Fresh Marketplace Buffet. Further, unlike many contemporary cruise lines, room service is also complimentary on Princess Cruises. There are some upcharge items, but guests can enjoy several menu options available through Ocean Now for no added cost. In fact, guests can get these items delivered to their staterooms or to any location around the ship with no delivery service fees. Martin cruise ships are a hub of activities and events, and there's always something to do on a Princess Cruises ship that will not cost you anything. So whether you prefer to just lounge by the pool or partake in one of the many offerings, it's completely up to you. Some of the complimentary activities you'll find on Princess Cruises include trivia, demonstrations, dance classes, and more. There are also guest lecturers providing insight on history, geography, wildlife, and the culture of your ports of call. All Princess Cruises ships are also outfitted with a gym that includes plenty of cardio and strength training equipment. Often these ships also have a jogging track and an outdoor sports court to help you stay active during your cruise. And use of these facilities are covered in your cruise fare. Now, if that's not enough, Princess Cruises also has its signature movies under the stars with comfy lounge chairs and provided blankets, as well as some popcorn this is a perfect low-key evening activity. If you're cruising with kids, Princess Cruises has plenty of activities for the little ones too. 
Camp Discovery is the youth activities program for children ages three to 17 years old. Here, they can engage in age appropriate activities and make some new friends along the way. Please make sure to register your children on day one of your cruise, even if you don't think your kids will use Camp Discovery. You can also tour the facilities and get a list of all the planned activities that will occur during your trip. At night, Princess ships come alive with plenty of entertainment options that are all included in the cruise room. It wouldn't be a cruise if there wasn't nightly entertainment in the main theater, with production shows and various headliner acts, from singers to comedians and magicians, there is something everyone will enjoy. Typically, there'll be two nightly shows in the main theater, one earlier in the evening and one later in the evening to accommodate different dining times. The theater isn't the only place you'll find live entertainment. On several ships, Princess Live is a venue that hosts nightly entertainment. We particularly enjoy the game shows and events that occur here with our favorites like Yes or No, The Liars Club, and The Marriage Match Show. There's also nightly live music throughout the ship in several of the bars and lounges. Depending on which ship you're sailing on, some of these lounges may include a piano bar, a jazz theater, a pub, as well as live music in some of the public venues like the Piazza. There might be other entertainment venues like lounges that also host a house rock band, as well as a DJ to offer a more nightclub-like experience. These venues also serve up your favorite cocktails. So while the music and entertainment is free, the drinks will cost you extra. Unless, of course, you have a Princess Cruises drink package. As traditionalists, one thing we love about Princess Cruises is the predictable routine for evening shows and entertainment. You can review the Princess app or the print version of the Princess Patter to see what shows and different live musical acts are performing each night. For us, our usual routine included an early dinner, catching one of the game shows at Princess Live, and then heading to the main theater for the late show, which most cruises starts around 9.30. After that, we went to one of the themed bars, including some of our favorites like Good Spirits at Sea or the Crooners Bar to enjoy some live music and maybe a drink or two before calling it a night. As you can see, there's a lot included with the Princess Cruises Cruise Fair, but not everything is covered in that base fare. And there are several upcharges that you should be aware of before setting sail with the cruise line. Crew gratuities are service charges that are not included in the standard cruise fare, similar to a hotel resort fee. These additional fees are a per person per day dollar amount that are charged to all guests across all stateroom categories. These charges serve as a means to reward the hardworking crew for the excellent service provided during your vacation. Currently on Princess Cruises, this daily service charge is $14.50 per person per day for a standard stateroom category. The fee increases to $15.50 per guest for mini suites and club class, and $16.50 per guest for suites. You can prepay this fee or it will be charged daily to your onboard account. Of course, you can always tip special crew members above and beyond this required amount. Princess Cruises will transport you to several exciting ports of call, like destinations in Alaska, Europe, South America, or the Caribbean, just to name a few. Unfortunately though, shore excursions are not part of the cruise fare, regardless of the destination. Although you can book these tours and additional experiences through the cruise line or through third-party retailers for additional costs. Shore excursions can range from inexpensive walking tours to several hundreds of dollars for unique experiences. These prices are also very dependent on destinations. Caribbean and Bahama tours are usually cheaper, while Alaska excursions can be rather pricey. There was a time when individuals would go on a cruise to disconnect. That means they wouldn't be tied to any devices, work, or even their phone. Well, those days are long gone, as most travelers like to stay connected with the internet, to check social media, their email, or just stay in touch with friends. If that sounds like you, then you're gonna to need to purchase an internet package on your next Princess Cruises voyage. 
Now, some luxury cruise lines do include Wi-Fi with their cruises, but unfortunately, Princess Cruises does not. Luckily, Princess Cruises Medallionet Wi-Fi is consistently rated as the best Wi-Fi at sea, so you may not mind the upcharge. You can choose from an unlimited Wi-Fi for one device or up to four devices for as low as $9.99 per day when purchased pre-cruise. If you've racked up some points with Princess Cruises loyalty program, you can receive even further discounts from those prices. While there are many dining venues covered in the cruise sphere, Princess Cruises also offers upcharge dining venues. From the signature steakhouse Crown Grill to the Italian Trattoria Sabatini's and the French Bistro Sur from a Michelin starred chef, there are a variety of upscale dining options on Princess ships. If you wish to dine at any of these venues, you'll need to pay an upcharge cost. Honestly, compared to other cruise lines, these specialty dining costs are very reasonable. Thus, we highly suggest you splurge on at least one of these dining experiences during your cruise. If you want to dine at one or more of these restaurants, reservations are highly recommended and can be made prior to your sailing on the Medallion Class app. Reservations can also be made on the ship, but space will be more limited. Along with food, Princess Cruises does offer a variety of complimentary beverages. Coffee, iced water, lemonade, hot tea and iced tea, and some juices are among some of the drinks at the restaurants and bars and lounges that are included in your cruise fare on all Princess Cruises ships. Other beverages like specialty coffee, smoothies, fresh juices, soft drinks, bottled water, and energy drinks are all an additional fee. And as you would expect, all alcoholic beverages cost extra as well. If you care to enjoy any of these beverages, you should consider purchasing a drink package, which will help you save money. Spa services and access to the thermal suite, known as the Enclave on many ships, are an additional fee on Princess Cruises. The adults only sanctuary will cost you extra too. The Lotus Spa offers a variety of treatments, including massages, nail services, teeth whitening, hair services, facials, and more. The Enclave includes a therapy pool, heated loungers, and steam and sauna options, as well as other experiences. The pricing varies for each of these services. And on several ships, you can purchase either a week-long pass or a day pass to the thermal suite. Finally, there are other add-ons like birthday or anniversary packages, wine tastings, photo packages, and laundry service that will also cost you extra. Likewise, if you choose to gamble or shop during your cruise, that will be out of pocket as well. When planning your trip, also remember to account for any pre-cruise or post-cruise travel expenses not tied directly to the cruise. When determining your budget, you want to factor in expenses like airfare, a pre-cruise or post-cruise hotel stay, and transportation to and from the cruise terminal, to name just a few. Now, one Princess Cruise tip we have is to consider the Princess Plus Cruise pricing to provide a more all-inclusive cruise experience. Princess Cruises has rolled out a newer pricing option, Princess Plus. This pricing option includes items not normally covered in your cruise fare. With the Princess Plus pricing option, guests will receive unlimited Wi-Fi for a single device, the Plus beverage package covering drinks up to $12, and the daily crew appreciation. So depending on your preferences, you may want to opt for a more inclusive cruise experience with Princess Cruises by taking advantage of this exclusive rate. If you're like us and plan to purchase even a couple of these perks for your cruise, then this package is certainly worth it. Just this year, Princess Cruises has announced a brand new, even more inclusive package called Princess Premier. This all-inclusive option offers guests unlimited Wi-Fi for up to four devices. The new Premier beverage package, which covers drinks up to $18, two specialty dining meals, photos, and crew appreciation. For $75 per person per day, this package builds on the popular Princess Plus add-on to offer a more comprehensive option. This new option went on sale May 25th of 2022 for voyages starting June 25th and beyond. 
And there you have it. That's our look at everything that's included in Princess Cruises Cruise Fair, plus what will cost you extra. Of course, we'd love to hear from you. If you're planning a Princess Cruise and have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and we'd be happy to answer them. I'm DB from Eat Sleep Cruise. And if you found this video helpful, we have tons of other cruise reviews, ship tours, and cruise tips videos right here on the channel to help you plan the perfect vacation so you can see the world one port at a time. If you're not sure where to start, you can check out our review for Princess Cruise's latest mega ship, Discovery Princess. We go in depth detailing all aspects of the ship from the dining to the onboard activities, entertainment, and more. We share it all in our exclusive Discovery Princess cruise review.